don't think that we mesh well. <laughs> I was like, why am I even listening to you to begin with? You're a virgin who can't drive. Okay, how did we get here? Well, why don't you go pop that corn, sit tight, and let us rewind for you. Meet Cher, a super wealthy, super popular, and super pretty 16-year-old queen of Bronson Alcott High School in Beverly Hills and living with her super expensive litigator of a father in this super big mansion. Yes, this huge one. With an undeniably overprotective father, Anything happens to my daughter, I got a 45 and a shovel. Cher must also cohabit with young Paul Rudd. And I say young, but we all know that this guy doesn't age. Come on, he could be 20 or 55, nobody would notice the difference. Anyhow, so Paul here plays Josh, her ex-stepbrother, an aspiring lawyer and college freshman who wants to learn from his father and who ends up spending a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, teasing yet caring for Cher. You already see where this is going, don't you? Right? I mean, right. It's so obvious, OMG. Okay, you'll see. We're not spoiling yet. Among Cher's many friends is fellow rich girl Dionne Devonport. She's gorgeous, rich, hip, and pretty much rules the school along with Cher. Slaying it every single scene with their iconic and super trendy OOTDs, the two of them end up being surprisingly charming and engaging. What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? As clueless as Forrest can get, Cher still manages to get her grades up by playing matchmaker and bringing her two nerdy and low grading teachers together. Me that you argued your way from a C plus to an A minus? Totally based on my powers of persuasion. You proud? Oh, honey, I couldn't be happier than if they were based on real grades. <laughs> also, when it comes to boys, Cher has a quite clear view on that. Searching for a boy in high school is as useless as searching for meaning in a Polly Shore movie. But that was before she met Christian, the newest boy in school who, unfortunately for her, is completely gay. Apparently, as little Cher here didn't get the info, she soon decides to try to secure him as hers. Also, sometimes you have to show a little skin. This reminds guys of being naked and then they think of sex. A good-hearted Cher, inspired to give back to the community, decides to adopt the tragically dowdy new girl, Ty Frazier, played by the one and only Brittany Murphy. Dion and Cher then give little Ty a makeover and groom her for popularity, ultimately transforming her into their new popular BFF. And there you have it, the classic movie trope. Yes, right there. From Duff to the top. Cute and innocent Ty crushes big time on Travis Birkenstock, a skateboarding stoner, but is steered away from him and towards popular snob Elton instead. Yeah, let's do it, you ready. <laughs> when her plan completely backfires, Cher soon discovers that her matchmaking skills are not so on point. Indeed, not only does Elton reject Ty, but he also hits on Cher instead. Yikes. So she lets him know quite rapidly that she's not really interested. This wasn't the best idea. Yep. As this eventually gets her to end up alone, stranded in a dark gas station, where she quickly gets robbed at gunpoint. Get down on the ground. Face down. Come on! Oh no. You don't understand. This is an Aliyah. An a what? It's like a totally important designer. And I will totally shoot you in the head. Get out! After all these failures, Cher is completely lost and even more so when it comes to Christian. Really, why would he not date her? D, I almost had sex with him. You almost had sex with who? Christian. <laughs> well, you have Dion's goofy boyfriend Murray to thank for the answer to that question. He eventually explains that it's just probably because Christian is... Gay. Thank you, Murray. Thank you. So Cher decides to pursue a friendship with Christian instead. Of course, he's not unuseful. He does have taste in fashion and art, after all. To add insult to injury, events truly reach a crisis point when Cher fails her driving test and doesn't succeed in renegotiating the result. You can't park. You can't switch lanes. You can't make right-hand turns. You've damaged private property and you almost killed someone. 
offhand, I'd say you failed. And things are not going easier on Cher, when, right after that, Ty's popularity surpasses her own. The little duckling finally decided to fly with its own wings. You see, poor and dejected Cher returns home to find Ty waiting for her and wanting to confide that she's becoming super into Josh. This was the last straw. Cher doesn't hold back and tells Ty that Josh is just wrong for her, prompting a quarrel and this iconic line. You're a virgin who can't dry. So at this point, Cher is left totally clueless and has pretty much nothing else to do than reflect on everything that has happened so far. She wants to understand why she's reacting this way. After a great deal of shopping in Beverly Hills, not so clueless Cher realizes that the only reason she reacted so strongly to Ty's interest in Josh was precisely because she is interested in him herself. I am majorly, totally, but crazy in love with Josh. In her rather awkward yet heartfelt attempt to get to Josh's bleeding liberal heart, she captains the school's Pismo Beach disaster relief effort. Miss Geist, Cher, I want to help. That would be wonderful. Thanks to these new commitments, Cher is showing that everything is not about fashion and OOTDs, even though they are. These looks are the highlight of this movie, even today. Which will be more than enough for Josh, leading to the two of them admitting their feelings for each other and finally kissing. Which is, well, even today, a little weird. I know he's her ex-stepbrother, but I mean, I know they're not related or anything. Well, it's like Gossip Girl, I guess? The movie ends with the wedding of the only couple Cher managed to set up. Remember her teachers? Where everyone lives happily ever after, all falling in love with each other, being besties and all. And of course, catching the bouquet, because yes, there weren't enough movie tropes in this romantic comedy. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the Binge Society. Take care, see you soon, and always remember to go on our different platforms to discover all our new Binge Society content. Ugh, as if.